Nick Durant here with Johnny Artist Tattoo Club and today I'm going to talk about machine setup for your liner and I'm going to show you my little homemade tool set here things you can get to measure your gaps. Before I get started I want to thank iOS Tattoo Machines. You can look them up on Facebook. I would also like to thank Crypt Rick for sending me this and if you want to find out where you can get these custom contacts by Bosox 9213 if you want to get a hold of him or look for his products on eBay you should check them out I'd also like to thank Brett Chamberlain for donating some money that will be put towards more of these videos and more equipment that I can use to show you guys things. The first machine I'm going to talk about is your liner. And these are my machines that I specifically use just for lining. Now, before we get into how to gap these machines and how to set them up properly, I want you just to think about what a liner is for. Before you start thinking about nickel and dime and gaps and how fast the CPSs are, think about what is the job that a liner has to do. You want to get your stencil done, outline your stencil before it rubs off. Now, that line of thinking comes from before we had really good stencil solution and before there was really good products out there for making stencils. The stencils used to come off real easy so you had to get them in there as fast as possible but if you're not rubbing your stencil off then speed isn't as much of an issue. So that's one thing to think about. So another thing to think about with liners is the fact that they make lining ink really thin and for myself I line with regular black ink I don't use a lining ink I just use black ink the reason for that is is that I have a larger gap with my liners and I run them slower but on your typical lining machine someone's going to be running thinner ink and you don't need as much of a gap you only need that small gap because with thinner ink you don't need a really long throw. You just need a short throw. So already you have a fast machine with a short throw. So that's important to think about. Now, you don't need a really heavy armature bar. So for a liner, 
you can use a lighter armature bar. You can see I've notched out this armature bar. Fast machine, small gap, light armature bar. Now, you don't need a lot of throw and you want a faster machine. You don't need as much of a gap between your rear deck and the back of your armature bar. Because the springs are shorter, my contact screw is at a 90 degree angle. So if I needed more gap here, that would give me a longer spring. And if I had a longer spring, my contact screw would be more out here, like on a color packer. But for a liner, I don't need that. So my contact screw can be at this angle. For a liner, they recommend a dime. So this is a dime that I drilled a hole in so I could put it on a keychain to keep all my gap tools in one spot and available when I need them. But not all countries are going to use a dime or have a dime available. So it's recommended a gap tool for spark plugs. And you can use that to gap your machines. And this is the point gap. There's several different gaps, but right now we're talking about the point gap, which is in between your contact screw and your front spring. So this machine I'm actually using as your standard liner. And you can see Here's my dime that my dime fits in there. Might need a little bit more gap. Back that up a little bit. There we go. So there's my dime. Or if I want to go with my gapping tool. There it is, right there. That's the distance I want for a liner, the width. Now that's for a liner that I would be using really thin ink and running this faster. I would use a lining ink with this machine. So this is also my liner and I hope I don't confuse you too much here but this liner has a over a nickel gap in it in my point gap. So here's my nickel. Let me show you the gap. It's a little wider than a nickel. But I run this machine slower and I just use black ink. I don't use a lining ink on this. But this is my liner. I use this as a liner. But it is set up differently than this liner. So what's recommended for a liner is actually a dime. So for a liner you can use a nickel or a quarter which is halfway between 
a dime and a nickel or a dime. So you guys understand you can line with a gap that's a dime, a quarter, or a nickel, or more. You can line with a shader. So another tool I use to set everything up correctly is my tension gauge. So the tension on this machine is very low. About three about four hundred I would do three to four hundred on this one usually 